So this is what happens when you use low kick on the heaviest Pokemon in the game. Oh man, the big Titan boy. Still kind of creepy as those eyes turn around and it looks at you like it wants to eat you for a snack. Let's go, low kick. Bada bing baby, Maurice. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, dude. Yikes, holy crap, that destroyed him. What level was that bard? Only level 21. Holy smokes, that destroyed him. Anyway, what's going on, guys? It's me, Las Paz Noble, and your boy Potato here. You know, he co-stars occasionally. <laughs> We're doing some more Pokemon memes out here. You know, the things that really just make me happy and it makes me excited. Yeah, I've been a big fan for years, and I'm glad I can share my enthusiasm with a lot of you guys out there. Little shiny hunt update out there. I got two shiny char cadets now, thankfully. Finding those blue eyes, man, I really had to just like peepo stare into every single one of them to make sure that those eyes were blue. And you wanna know something that's as rare as shiny hunting out there? The amount of people that are subscribed with the notification bell. <laughs> so if you want those constant updates and that's good, you know, quality Pokemon content out there, well, definitely hit that bell. Anyway, let's get to it here. So we have a Sprigatito here smelling a little flower. Nice. And then you have the trainer smelling the Sprigatito. I imagine Sprigatito would smell good. And then Nimona smelling <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else is just staring and I think Penny's taking a picture. I would be a little scared too, man. I, I don't know, man. Would, would I would I sniff an Eevee? Eevee? Don't worry, buddy. I'm not going to sniff you. You're fine. You're, you're good. But can Nomona beat Goku? Well, it looks like she can beat the crap out of him. <laughs> There's so many people just comparing Nomona to Goku, so this picture just makes me happy. I guess apparently she can. Who knows? Oh, and the reference pick is actually a real thing here, too. Holy crap, she's just slamming down the guy. That must, that's incredible. Look, guys, I know a lot of you guys want to be slammed by Nimona, but maybe that's what she's going to actually probably do to you. Let's be real. So those, and it's just Quagsire and Quagsire just look at a door. This thing is so upvoted and well-liked, dude. It's incredible how many people have viewed those. They're just, yes, those. They are adorable, though. They really are. I would probably get a plushie of, you know, that Mudkip, man. I, I really would. He's too cute. Yes, I said Mudkip. I made a mistake saying it was Quagsire before. I apologize. So Tontaro added again with the Christmas thing. I love that Sprigatito is just getting the little thing on its cape. And then Meowskarada is getting the other thing on the middle of Evolution's hat. It's just bully. I mean, that's what cats do. They would totally just do that. Just like how freaking Potato out here is trying to take out my earbud every single time and I have to readjust Potato. Stop playing with my freaking earbuds. I mean, truthfully, it's just my plushie rubbing against my ear every time I turn and stuff, so yeah. Rivals after you mop the floor with them. First and second gen, I hate you. And now it's like, ha, 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 you did so good. <laughs> I don't know about you, but man, if I, if I got my butt just f dragged across the floor and just completely decimated, I'd be a little bit devastated. I'd be like, wow, I didn't even, I didn't even stand a chance. You know, like, dang. Recent starters are just too humanoid. Well, okay, what about Fue Coco's final evolution? And, you know, Samurott and Seviper out here. Yeah, look at how cool they are. And, Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. There's gotta be, let me check the starters out here. There's gotta be more like bestial starters, surely. I mean, the owl is not humanoid. He's, he's an owl still, come on. Uh, yeah, the one with uh, Greninja and Fennekin and all the other ones, yeah, they're all humanoid. Okay, you have a point. There is a lot of humanoid ones. Whoa, shiny fortress, nice. Look at that shiny golden boy, he's so cool. Look at that, all right. Oh, swords dancing rather than a quick ball? That's a, okay. I don't know why you would do that one. At least try a quick ball first. That'd be faster than, oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that is, that is literally Spain without the S there. That's, we're just gonna walk away from that one there. Okay, come on, let's get out of here. Yes, I know. I said that, you know, they don't self-destruct while, you know, you're looking at them out in the field like the Voltorbs, but they'll certainly self-destruct in Memento if you're in battle with them, so make sure to save. And keep a tate on my head right now. He's cut off by the camera, but he's just up there now. Legendaries then. I am known as the guardian of the seas. I can control the wind and the weather. One flap of my wings creates devastating storms and I sleep at the bottom of the ocean. 
Okay, legendaries now. Sandwich. <laughs> he don't really do anything. He just sandwich. <laughs> I kind of like that. I'm sick of things being like the god of all Pokemon, the gods of time and space, the gods that can sunder the world and other things like that. Oh, let's just make a normal legendary Pokemon. He's just really good. That's all. You don't need to do anything too creative here. So I really like this. This is Tinkatona Tink. <laughs> I can't say the name, but yes, Tinkaton using Tink another Tinkaton as a weapon. They just keep endlessly slamming each other into the anime. I feel like that could be effective. That'd be a funny Pokemon. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. What if starters fully evolved but stayed small and cute? And oh, I like a mini sword. Char Charizard's looking cool. Blastoise's cute. I like that. Typlosion looks so adorable. He's so cute. I'd play that game. I would play the, the tiny mon like mod like that. I would totally play that game. That is cute. Can we just talk for a minute about the fact that Lieutenant Surge is an eight foot tall monster of a person? He doesn't even need a Raichu. He could just punch your Pokemon in the face and it would probably die. I mean, he was a war veteran. He looks intimidating as all acting. Brock, who's kind of like tall like a normal human being. Like, Jesus, this man is a behemoth. MFers be like, what do my favorite Pokemon say about me? And show this, and well, I don't know. That seems like a normal list out there. I mean, I've caught my Gardevoir. I got the Frost Lass. And oh, Potato, no! No, don't dive, cringe! So, Ticketon killing Corviknight, getting all the attention to literally any other Predator Pokemon. I think the one that really comes to mind here is the one that eats all of the coral Pokemon out there. Um, comes to mind, can't remember the name. Marini, that was it. Marini is the one I'm thinking of there. Okay, yeah, she literally hunts all the coral out there, and you know, she, she don't get a lot of attention for that. I think Weevil goes after like uh, some sand shrews and stuff like that as well. You know, like, it is what it is. But truth be told, none of them are a really cute pink girl with a huge hammer. I feel like that's a huge factor that factors into that. Did you know, during development for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Gardevoir, as well as its pre-evolutions, were meant to all be water types. This could be seen in the beta release exclusively in Japan, where a blue Gardevoir is shown using an unknown water type move during the intro cinematic. Don't believe us? Google Gardevoir squirting. Look, man, I can't believe you'd expect me to fall for this one right here. Who, in their right mind, would go to a website and type in Gardevoir squirting? Hey, why would I... D Oh my god. <laughs> oh my lord, you evil son of a god. Who would win? A family of four who can and will beat you to death. Yeah, that's right. That's technical technician stuff like that. Oh my god. Crazy. Or a freaking helmet. You touch me once, you gonna die. <laughs> you get a guard chomp with some rough skin too. That mouse ain't doing nothing. So champion Gita, just whatever. But the cooler champion, Nimona, that's what we're talking about, dude. Get, get out of here. That's what she really should be renamed, okay? <laughs> like, she's, she's so boring. I'm the dumbest man alive. If you like an even vaguely feminine Pokemon, you're clearly just a furry. You're clearly dumber. Yeah, like, come on, man. It's it's perfectly fine to like a Gardevoir, all right? Like, it, it, there's nothing sus about that. You don't need to look at me with any weird eyes, okay? Just because I, like, clickbaited Gardevoir a few times and a few things, and I know what I'm doing, and like, I'm not, like, weird or anything, okay? Anyway, Gardevoir, uh, 5'3 tall out of here, and Lucario and Lo Low Punny, just 3'11". Well, dang. <laughs> Gardevoir is usually that huge. Lucario and Lopony, they're just that small. Holy crap. No, baby, wait. It's not what you think. I <laughs> Don't look at this. <laughs> no, don't look at this one, buddy. Is that a foursome if that happens there? If <laughs> they get it on if you breathe them with that. <laughs> I never even thought about that. Like a Doug Trio, like going to the Diglett. Oh, man, that's really weird. Me writing my legendary and a wild scatterbug being like, bonk. <laughs> just bonk. <laughs> it just stops you immediately. Like you're on this big behemoth of a mod and just this tiny little thing stops you. You have to hop off and you gotta fight this thing. Like, come on, bro. There's so many times where I don't see that stupid tiny little bird or that stupid tiny little bug. How, like, come on. 
Shiny hunters, when their wife gives birth to a baby with a different skin color. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Stop. Okay, that one's pretty dark. <laughs> Man, I made a butt of it. That one's pretty dark, and I'm white. And you know, <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. So this is just really cute. Yo, Potato, you gotta see this. Evie the snowman. Look at you. You got you, you got your homie in there. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so freaking adorable. I just needed to show that because that was adorable. Uh, Cliffa came out. Well, good for you, buddy. <laughs> good for you. All right. I mean, you are a fairy Pokemon. <laughs> Oh man, these jokes. Am I gonna get canceled? So biblically accurate combi. Oh jeez, I I thought they only came in threes. Are they allowed to do that? That's that's terrifying. Oh hey guys, look, Magikarp was caught. I mean, Emma's for Magikarp. I mean, what else can you do? There? <laughs> it's a ball that. Hey, I hope it was gold. I hope it was at least the shiny. Oh, yo, what's going on with Penny's bag? Holy crap! It's going crazy. <laughs> I'm glad that they gave it physics, though. That's kind of cute. The one thing, though, Pokemon, you really need to get that. I didn't realize how fat and cute that thing is. I would love that, either as a plush or a backpack. Why does it not exist? And another curious question, how does that thing actually open? Wait, how does that backpack actually open? Do you, like, have to unzip its little head or something? Like, no, I'm not going to unzip your head. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold hands is one of the best Pokemon moves ever. The user and the ally hold hands. This makes them very happy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what does it do? <laughs> wait, 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 what does it actually do that just makes them happy? Hold hands has no effect in battle. When a Pokemon uses this move in double battle or triple battle, it and its target allies will perform a brief animation together. <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> it literally does nothing. Besides, of course, making them happy. So this is by Jacko Bouquet. And this is just such good animation. Look at that little cute little Mudkip. Yeah, Mudkip. Look, at he's eating the hair out there. Oh my God, just on Rika's hair. And then the Quagsire, I mean, I mean Mudkip brings him back. Oh, and he's like, no, no, give it back. And he just runs back to it and just perfect loop. Just perfect loop. Oh my God. That just makes me appreciate it even more. And I want more. I want the plushie now. I kind of want a Mudkip plushie here. And no, I don't mean, I'm not replacing you guys, okay? I mean, let's be real. There's there's no way we can ever replace any of you. There's too many of them. Oh, Electro. Oh, no. Wait, you're just going to stand next to it? Ah! <laughs> Jeez. It just blew you away. I didn't know it could do that. I want to try it. <laughs> For science reasons, that's because of, not because of, Lassus. Okay, that's where we're going to end our little Pokemon meme session out here. Thank you guys so much for watching all these, loving it, and I'm I'm still enjoying the game. I'm still shiny hunting, as you guys know. I will get that team, and I will be very happy. It's going to take a while, but I'm going to I'm going to get all them shiny mons. So yeah, if you guys enjoy some Pokemon content, well, I have plenty of good videos to check out. Or if you like some other content, maybe like some memes or manga recommendations, check out some of these. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you beautiful sons of guns again next time. Goodbye. You know, new too.